Hey, welcome to Planet Hex. I'm Andrew Horn. Sorry I had to take a week off there. That was beyond my control. I do apologise, but I'm back now with more VHS hunting shenanigans over on eBay. Before I go and do that, I'm going to tell you about what's going on this episode. Yeah, I'm going to tape hunting again, but this week it does have another theme. This week it's all about these movies, the Friday the 13th franchise. I heard online that a, a copy of the first movie, Friday the 13th itself, the classic, um, has sold for silly money, absolutely crazy amounts of money, hundreds and hundreds. So I wanted to see what it would cost me on eBay to get a whole run, including films like Jason X and Freddy vs. Jason on VHS. See if I can do that. I don't even know if um, the last two were on VHS, I can't even remember. But we should go and see. So this is my original copy of uh, Jason Lives that I had as a uh, I'll say teenager in the 90s and um, this film is responsible for um, my fascination with Friday the 13th but I, at the time I was big into franchise movies Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser and such like I really like franchise movies because I'm an absolute sucker for sequels which is handy with um, Friday the 13th because there's rather a lot of them it's a weird it's a weird franchise because you know it's starting off with a classic and then you have things like part two and three. I've got on my DVD. I've uh, got most of the set on DVD, so it'll scattered around Castle Horn. So you got part two and three where it kind of really cemented that uh, Jason was the, the killer. See, he wasn't in the first one, was he? Spoiler alert for something that came out a million years ago. But then towards the end of the franchise, after it got really, really silly with like Jason Takes Manhattan, we ended up with Jason Goes to Hell the final Friday which I like, it has its detractors, but I like it. And we had Jason X, Jason in Space, which is, I'm not gonna lie, it is entertaining, even though it's dreadful. You know, it's got Lexa Doig in it, so um, I was a big fan of uh, Andromeda for a while, I'm not entirely sure why, uh, but it still had Kane Hodder in it as, as Jason, and it was a lot of fun. It was very, very silly, very, very fun. And of course, not long after that, we finally got Freddy vs. Jason. So let's see what the Friday the 13th series would set me back on eBay. Okay, what would the Friday the 13th franchise from Friday the 13th to itself up to Freddy vs. Jason cost on eBay if we wanted to get an entire set? Let's go find it. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I was just about to go to Camp Crystal Lake. I do apologise. Right, where were we? Let's have a look. That was very cheesy, Andrew. Oh well. So let's check out Friday the 13th VHS. Yeah, I know that one had gone for crazy money recently. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Let's see how cheap we can get these. Right, okay, let's go for lowest. Let's see what we can do. Brookside! Right. <laughs> That's even scarier. Christ. Okay, so cheapest we've got part two for £10. So, and part four for eight. Is that really the cheapest? And part five for eight fifty. These are a lot more expensive than I thought. I thought these would be like a pound each. I've got it set to lowest, haven't I? Yeah, lowest price. Wow. So there's the first the there's first movie. It's not X Rents or anything like that. It's literally just the box standard sell through. I think it's the a horror house or something like that. I can't remember what the uh, the range was, but it was like a not a budget range, but it was just a standard range of sell through clamshells. So. Twelve pounds? That's crazy. I think mine was at twenty p. Jason X. Jason X for nine ninety nine. There's Friday the 13th three there, but that's not going to box. We've not had three so far, have we? No. Part two, part four, part five, one. Jason X. We've got Jason goes to hell. 
Um, small box again. Sell through. Jason goes to hell. Sell through is ten pounds. That's the cheapest there is. That's demented. There must be cheaper ones than this out there, but I'm, I'm not seeing them so far. Um, four, four again. That that's an interesting one. Let me just take a little uh, a tangent here. That is not Friday the thirteenth. Okay, so evil is Friday the thirteenth. But if you look there, it says the legacy. Friday the 13th The Legacy that is the TV series which is not related to Jason and it was about uh, three investigators there they were who uh, had to track down a load of cursed antiques and I watched the hell out of that series I must revisit it. It was probably dreadful. I don't. I don't remember. I remember really enjoying it for what it was. It was sort of like a Twilight Zone, Monster of the Week, Curse of the Week sort of thing. But yeah, it had nothing to do with Jason Voorhees at all. But it's an interesting one. But if you do see that, if you see that cheap anywhere, it's not got Jason in it. So if you're expecting some hockey mash shenanigans in there, there aren't any. Okay, so we've got um, same again. Legacy five five. You've got five on there. There we go, Friday the 30th Part 3, VHS Big Box X Rental, $14.99. Wow. Let's get that written, noted down. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 and 10. So I need 6, 7 and 8. What a lot of people see as the, the lesser parts of the series. 15 quid for Jason Lives? couldn't give that away for a while honestly you could not give videos of part six or part eight away at all 1999 on buy it now for part eight that film's dreadful okay part six jason lives 14.99 i'm gonna have to see if these are cheaper anywhere 20 pounds for part three there 20 pounds for the sell through of the first one that's crazy right i need seven and eight where are you not so hard there we really okay friday the 13th part seven the new blood which was sort of like crossing jason Voorhees friday the 13th movie with carrie you know, there was there was a battle between Jason and a telekinetic young a young lady that had like carry style powers. Twenty nine ninety nine. I'm gonna put it down as thirty pounds just so it costs it's a bit more even then. It well, it made sense in my head. Leave me alone. Right, I just need a. Oh, I saw a part eight. There was a part eight further up, wasn't there? On buy it now. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, Jason Takes Manhattan, 1999. That's demented. Those prices are crazy. Okay, I'm just going to check on a couple of these. I want to see if there are any cheaper than that. Friday the 13th, um, part 6. Let's try part 6, which is listed at 14.99 as the cheapest we can find it there. So 14.99, 30, 30. Thirty-nine fifty. Oh, someone's done my work for me there. So there is, there is a, a batch there that's got all eight in it for seventy-nine ninety-nine, and that let's have a look. That would be cheaper than buying them individually, which is mental to me. I'm just so used to seeing these tapes. Well, I was used to seeing these tapes back in the day, not being that sought after. They were quite common. That's Terrorvision, not not uh, Horror House, the uh, the sell through one. They were they were tapes that you would come across quite a lot, especially the first two. I would find those all over the place, and then six and seven. I found several copies of those. Um, I found a lot of um, ex rental copies of Jason Takes Manhattan, 
and but I never really saw the final chapter or new beginning around back when VHS was more prevalent in charity shops and second-hand stores. But that works out cheaper than uh, than getting these individual ones. So I'm just going to add these up. I do have my favourites among the series, as I'm, I guess everyone does. Personally, I know it's sacrilegious, but for me, my favourites are the uh, the ones that are more derided, part 6 and part 7. Um, part 6 was the first one I owned on VHS, um, with Jason Lives, where he's brought back as a zombie with lightning. You know, what else could it have been? I mean, part 5 wasn't technically really Jason, or was it? I don't think it really was. Original Jason died in part 4 quite grotesquely. Um, but it's... Um, yeah, the sixth one, it summed up everything that I wanted out of an 80s horror movie at the time. You know, it's got Jason in it, it's got lots of ridiculous killings, it's got a cool lead character. I liked that Tommy Jarvis in part six. Don't hold that against me, because I don't care. I really like that that Tommy Jarvis. Same guy that was in uh, Return of the Living Dead part two as a grave robber. Um, I do recommend you check that out if you, <laughs> if you haven't. Not the best zombie movie ever made, but certainly an entertaining evening's watch. I do wholeheartedly recommend that one. Uh, okay, so we've got £138.46. If you bought them the individual ones, um, it would be £138.46. Or if you bought this lot, it would be £79.99. I would recommend £79.99. However, I would also check out selling groups on Facebook. Things like Horror VHS Collectors Unite, hello old friend, and you know there's a load of um, UK based VHS trading pages on there. I think your best bet is to avoid eBay altogether on these and pay a decent price for them because I think that is way too high for Friday the 13th movies. Just bearing in mind that these things were hugely mass produced, especially like the, the um, edition of the first one there. I got that. For, I got my copy of that for ten pence, and I got it because there was nothing else around. I would not pay much for that edition. The edition that sold for a lot of money recently was uh, like one of the old uh, one of big boxes, one of the, the puffy sort of big boxes. But yeah, just just shop around. Take a look on Facebook Marketplace. Take a look in the buying selling trading groups on uh, Facebook. I do really recommend you check out some groups like that rather than just plumping for insane amounts of money for VHS tapes that are essentially really, really common. I'm really surprised by that, but it's good to see these movies anytime. They are fun. No matter your opinion on them, you have to, uh, no matter your opinion on individual entries in it, you have to admit there's been a lot of entertainment over the years, silly as it is, but not all of them have a uh, awesome synthy theme tune like Part 6 by Alice Cooper. God, Man Behind the Mask, that was awesome. But while I go and try and find some cheaper copies of Friday the 13th, I suggest you do go and, you go and do the same. I'm going to go and try not to have a marathon of all 10 of them. I'm not going to try very hard, am I? Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and validate my existence.